So uh, hi, my name is Skyler, and this is Brian, and we are co-founders of Thrive Smart Systems. And our goal at Thrive is to make every sprinkling system wireless, whether that be residential, commercial, or agricultural. So first, let me explain how a typical sprinkling system works. You have a control box that sends a signal to your valves, which tells them to open and close, letting water flow to your sprinklers. And this is how over 750,000 new residential sprinkling systems are installed every year in the United States. And even the most advanced sprinkling system, on, sprinkling system on the market today is still using wire to go from the control box to these valves. And we estimate that's over $67 million spent just on wire. Now, imagine how much more a large-scale farmer is spending on wire because they're stringing them across miles and acres of land. So let's say you're not stringing wire, but you have your system already set up. What happens if your wire gets cut or it's shorting out? Currently, the only way to solve this is by trenching through dirt and concrete to lay a new wire and fix the short, which is very expensive and very time consuming. In fact, we estimate $130 million is spent just on um, fixing wire in the irrigation industry every year. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, if wire installation and wire maintenance are such big problems, why haven't people been trying to solve this? Well, they have. Three of the major players in the irrig irrigation industry have tried solving this. And what they've come up with is a battery-operated controller. Now this controller goes directly in your valve box, it connects to one valve, it runs on a battery, and is on a completely independent timer than the rest of your system. So now you've introduced even more problems. You have to deal with replacing a battery every year, more maintenance costs, and now the biggest problem, you have divided your system. Now you have more multiple controllers and multiple timers. So, we spoke with dozens of contractors and when they go around, they say they are experiencing more than 30 of these controllers in a single HOA and more than 17 in just 25 acres. So it's safe to say that these battery operated controllers are not solving the problem, the wiring problem in the irrigation industry. Yet people are craving a, a solution to this problem that they're spending over a hundred million dollars just on these controllers. And you know what? They are not solving the problem. No one has solved the problem yet, and that's where Thrive comes in. So our solution has two parts. We have a wireless forwarder and a wireless valve switch. Our forwarder can connect to any existing control box, then sends a wireless signal to your switch, which then connects to the existing valves. It is powered by water flow that generates a charge that stores it in a rechargeable battery and stores enough to flip these valves on and on. And we have validated that our solution is the best on the market and is ready to revolutionize the irrigation industry. And that's exactly what the market has been telling us as well. We've talked to hundreds of landscapers and collected formal willingness to pay data from 42, generating a revenue maximizing price of $143 per switch. Now, we've also taken our technology to the irrigation trade show in Long Beach, California, where three of the largest uh, companies in this sector, these are the Microsofts and Apples of the irrigation industry, approached us wanting to talk about either partnership or acquisition. And why is that? Because the market for this is enormous. If you could convert every sprinkler system in the U.S. alone to wireless system, you'd be sitting on a hefty $12.7 billion. Now, how much of this pie could you feasibly take per year? We have validated that wireless technology could easily take $159 million every year. And this is great, but where are we at with the technology? What traction do we have? So we successfully retrofitted an old-fashioned standard control box, had a flip of a valve from over a mile away, a wireless valve switch successfully generates power through water flow, we have a patent um, filed as of uh, December 2nd, 2018, as well as $51,000 in pre-orders in two weeks. The market wants this, so how are we going to get it to them? Well, we plan on going directly to selling directly to contractors during our alpha and beta test, and then launching our official generation one product through uh, irrigation retailers at the beginning of 20, uh, 2020. Now, as far as what this looks like financially, um, again, year two is when we begin selling through uh, irrigation retailers with 600 locations by year five, generating $68 million in revenue. And we have an amazing team to move this forward of four engineers, an industrial designer, and a business strategist, as well as a handful of mentors who have helped us along the way. And we're looking to raise a million dollars, and we are all in because we know that one year, five years, ten years from now, there will still be sprinkler systems, but they will not be wired. Wireless irrigation will become an industry standard. The question is, who is going to get it there? And we believe that's going to be us. Thrive. Thank you.